so today I have a video on my favourite lip products at the moment. I was thinking about doing an August favourites and then I realised all the products in it were gonna be lip products anyway so I figured instead of doing an August favourites why don't I just do my favourite lip products at the moment. So there's five products in this video and I have realised that they're all high end so you know I, I'm sorry about that that they're all high end brand. But I guess this could be good if you are looking to buy you know um, a lip product from high end because it will kind of give you a bit of a information and guide to these um, products so as you know it can help you out when you're trying to choose and I think that they're all um, pretty wearable they're all very very different actually I've just realised there's like every sort of lip product you can find in here so I'm gonna get on and show you them so the first one I actually have on today um actually I have two I have like two of them on today but yeah I think that I don't have favourites in this area in no order but these two that I'll show you first I have on today it's probably my favourite lip combination of the moment I am obsessed with it it's so so nice and it is Benefits Posey Tin and I got this free in Glamour magazine because Glamour magazine, think about it, they always do such good kind of collaborations with brands. Like they're always doing, you know, something, either with uh, it's with Benefit every year they do something. They do something with Clinique earlier this year, which I actually have a product from in this video. Um they just do the best sort of thing. So this is Posy Tin and I will show you the colour. The colour looks like that, and I think it's kind of similar to Benetin um, in you know how it's says stain and it's buildable but it's different in the consistency Benetton is definitely it feels like a liquid whereas this one feels like a cross between a liquid and a solid it's kind of not a gel but more that kind of texture it's very similar to is it like cha cha tin like the um peach peach curly one that they released um a couple of months ago so yeah this one is like that um but it's just lovely i love this color because i'm often looking to find um you know pale pink that I can wear because often no than not most pal pinks they either just wash me out or just do not suit me like they do not look good um, but this is kind of a nice cross between you know being pal enough that it is still pal like with the colour I want but it's not pal enough that it crosses the line and makes me look bad at least I think this suits me I don't know um, I'll zoom you in, in in a minute and show you it but yeah I really really like this one the packaging is amazing too this is great size because you need to carry it around but when it runs out I will for sure you know go out and buy the full size one I think that if you are looking to invest in either Benetton or Position, I would probably I know the Benetton is like the classic product that Benefit are like famous for but this one is probably better to start off with because I do feel like this is more buildable than Benetton. I don't know but that's just what I think but I'll zoom you in and show you what it looks like. So yeah I've just been wearing this all the time and I would recommend this to everyone. The second product is a gloss which I have on top of this one and it is one of Clinique Super Balm Moisturising Glosses. The packaging is just really nice and simple and it is in the colour 10 Grapefruit. Um, again I got this in Glamour so it is a little miniature. Um, they just do the best collaborations so definitely look out for them. I've used a lot of this like you can see from the side it's kind of bent in. If you wear it by itself it is pretty just see through. Just any old gloss but when on, when you put it on top of this I think the pink draws out from it and just emphasizes the posy tint so these two are definitely great together like I would think these are just just amazing I can't even explain how much I love wearing this I've been wearing this combination for like three days straight so I love that the next one would have been great for summer if we actually had like a summer in England the weather is awful but yeah, this is still good. I guess for every day because the sun is out every day, you know, even though you can't see it, you know, the UV rays are still there. And the reason it's good is because this is a MAC Tin lip conditioner and it has SPF 15 in it. So it's just a nice bright pink colour and it's in the classic MAC packaging. MAC packaging is probably like, one of my favourites. It always just looks nice and sleek. And yeah, this is buildable. Again, you can put it on really sheer, you can build it up and obviously it's good for you because it's got the SPF 15 in it so yeah this is really nice and they have a really good colour selection I think I don't think there's too many but there's enough to kind of cover everything I don't know and I know when they do limited edition collections they kind of add to this I know did they do it with uh, the semi pressure collection I'm not sure but I think they did some brownie ones in that I don't know but yeah I love this one and I'd like to get an orange one um, I haven't been to MAC in so long that I can't remember what they do but if they do an orange one I want to get it because I'd love some of the same sort of consistency as that so the next one is probably the most 
bold out of all five products. It's probably the least wearable, but there are ways you can make it wearable. Um, this is NARS's Strawberry Fields. There you go. It's just a deep purple. Now, I got this last summer, and I think it was limited edition in the summer collection, but now, I don't know, I'm not sure, but I think it's part of the permanent collection. So the reason why this is probably least wearable is because the texture of it is quite thick, and so that's why it does come out exactly kind of how you see it. It's a really deep berry colour. Recently, the way I've been liking to wear it is I put it on and then I get tissue and kind of blot it off. And if you leave it, it just looks like a really nice stain. Kind of as if Benefit did a deep purple tint, it would kind of be like this one. If you do want to make it even less wearable, then you can just put a bit of Vaseline or lip balm over the top and it kind of turns it down even more. So that is really nice, but it is probably the least wearable of them all. And then the final product is one from MAC and it is a MAC um, Dazzle Glass. I don't actually own any of MAC's other lip glosses, lip glasses, whatever they're called. I don't even know. But it is in the prettiest colour ever and uh, it's got a really fun name. It's called Fun Tabulous. <laughs> Yeah, fun tabulous and very, very glittery. Put a bit on this in the back of my hand. It shimmers literally so much. You put this on your lips and it just shimmer from a distance like you can notice. And I definitely want to get some more, maybe some pink colours. So yeah, these are my five favourite lip products of the moment. Um, great combination these are. That's great, but it's the least wearable. This is so much fun and this one is really great as in good for you, SPF 15 or whatever. So yeah, I hope you liked watching this and I'll see you next video. Bye!